Welcome to our next video here at Howard Piano Industries. Um, today we're going to be demonstrating the, um, uh, the new tool we have here. It's a tool that used to be out years ago, but the um, supplier that used to carry it uh, ran out a couple years ago, and, and so we've had them made again for us um, and are making them available. It's called the Sharp Leveling Device. It's um, a handy tool, real easy to use to, um, um, to uh, regulate and, and level and uh, get all the sharps at the same height. As we can see here, we've got a picture of, um, or in the, in the video here in front of you, is we've got um, the sharp with the sharp leveling device on it. This particular um, key that it's on, I've uh, regulated it so that it um, is it at the, the correct height. Um, standard is about a half inch, uh, you know, anywhere between probably 15 sixteenths up to a half inch. Uh, you know, some pianos will require slightly more, but uh, in, in most cases you don't want to go over a half inch for a, for the sharp height. Um, so I've got this regulated at a half inch, um, and uh, so this, this key is um, at the right point. And in a, in a moment I'll show you how to adjust it, but I just wanted to give you a close-up view here so that you could see, um, you know, how to, how to tell. You know, if we push down the sharp and let it come up, it should just, just touch the float pin um, on the bottom. So you can hear, might hear a little bit of a clicking noise there, and that's, um, and that's the sharp just touching the float pin. Now if, I, if I took and pushed down on the keys... Okay, you can see that, um, you know, it, there's not any extra play there. So lifting that up and putting it back down should put it just right at the sharp level. Now when we go from, from one to the next, um, now of course before you, before you level the sharps, you want to make sure that the white notes are sharp, which you may already have noticed that I don't have them level on this piano. You can see there's a diff difference in height between this key and that key. But... Um, uh, I'll do that down the road, but um, for at this point, and we've got these two, you can see that this one is going to have to come up, and I did have to raise this one to get it to the right height, so um, I'm going to have to probably raise most of these, and of course you want to determine what the right height is first before you start going and uh, adjusting them, you know, based on the uh, amount of aftertouch and and uh, key dip and so forth and all that before you, um, so determining all that first, um, what the right height is for your piano might be slightly lower than than a half inch, um, but on this piano I've determined that a half inch is, is a good. So, as you go from one, one key to the next, uh, and you can see that most of these are going to have to be raised up okay and what you do and, and um, I'll show you in just a moment what um, what to do to to adjust the the tool as well as um, adjust the height of the sharps now to make it to adjustments to the um, the height of the sharp um, what you're going to do here back here you've got the balance rail pin um, and each key has uh, its own pin and what that does is that um, the key pivots. The back of the key will go up when the front of the key goes down and it pivots on that balance rail which is, um, is where that balance rail pin comes up. Um, and what you'll do, and we de determined that uh, actually all of these, but uh, this one we'll start with needs to come up. Okay, what you'll do is you'll raise up the, you'll take the key out um, and then um, you'll remove the the balance rail felt. Okay, there's going to be a, or at least there should be, um, a felt punching that's um, that's on on the balance rail. And there might be some other paper or cardboard ones under there. But if the if the if the um, key is too low, like it is in this situation, we're going to add some. And it was quite a bit, so I'm going to add uh, one of these blue ones, which is ten thousandths of an inch. Um, Put that back on, and we can ch check it. Check it. You, you'll start to get a feel of how m much um, how mm -hmm. much punching you need to add, based on how high or low it is. Okay, now I've added that, um, and I'm going to check it. Now you won't be able to see here with, but uh, that's much closer. It's probably could use another three or five thousandths of an inch of punchings to bring it up to to where it should be. If I hit it, hit it hard, it'll click. But I can see that there's 
there's just a slight amount of gap there. So, so that at least gets it close. And like I say, I can take the key off and add another, another white punching would be, which would be three thousandths of an inch, or a, a green one would be step, uh, five thousandths of an inch, um, just to bring it up. Okay, so that's how to how to level and, and get them all at the same height. Um, now here I've got uh, another one. I'm going to show you how to adjust the tool to get to the right height. We have there's two adjustments inside of the tool. There's a brass uh, float pin, okay, which is the part that touches the the sharp, okay, and and uh, that's held in place by a, a set screw. So we're going to loosen that, and I'm going to pull that up a little bit, and then you just tighten it down to. To get it to set, um, so you can do that, and then to make fine, uh, smaller adjustments, you've got uh, uh, this uh, cylinder, threaded cylinder that will go up and down. Okay, and it's got this collet here that'll that holds it in place. You're just going to loosen that up, um, and you can either, if you turn it, if you turn it counterclockwise, that'll raise uh, that that threaded cylinder if you turn it clockwise it's going to make it go down so once you've got it at the height that you wanted it at and, and you can either measure it by the key or you can take um, take a stainless steel rule and you can measure you know at what point that um, that's at okay now you, I've got mine set at half an inch okay so I know um, you can see that it doesn't come all the way too, so I'm going to have to lower it a little bit. Okay, and once you get that, it, oh, I'm sorry, I have to raise it. Which is going to bring a little more. Okay, so right about there. So once you've got it at the right point, you kind of hold that cylinder in place and then lock down your collet so this uh, this isn't going to move at all. And of course the set screw holds that uh, the float pin in place. Okay, so now everything's locked in at the height that you want it at and you can go and and uh, use it. Now when you measure, you might have a little different measurement back here than you do in the front, so you want to measure in the same place all the time, usually at the, right at the front. Uh, I usually put the front edge of, of um, these uh, feet right at the front edge of the sharp. Okay, and that gives you consistent um, feel. So uh, that's how to make the adjustments to the um, to the tool. So fairly fairly simple tool to use um, to adjust and again those are available on our website at howardpianoindustries.com.